Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So one of my biggest pet peeves that I get with students is uh, when we take the binomial squared and we multiply that incorrectly. And, but it's a very common mistake because, you know, for instance, if I say 5x squared, students are familiar that that is 5x times 5x. But basically, we, another way we can write that is 5 squared plus x squared. So we can distribute the power across multiplication. However, we cannot distribute a power across addition or subtraction. So 2 minus 5i squared does not mean 2 squared minus 5i squared. It does not mean that. Um, you cannot apply this. 2 minus 5i means 2 minus 5i times 2 minus 5i. Just like we did here, 5x times 5x. 2 minus 5i times 2 minus 5i. So when you have something when you have a binomial times a binomial, we have to apply distributive property. Or if you want a fancy, nice way to remember distributive property with binomials, you can think of FOIL, which FOIL tells us to multiply the first terms of each binomial first. So that'd be 2 times 2. Then we multiply the outer terms, which would be uh, 2 times 2 times negative 5i which is going to leave us with a negative 10i equals 4. Then we do the inner terms, which again would be negative 5i times 2, which will leave us with a negative 10i. And then we do the last terms. Oh, those are the inner. Forgot to label those. Then we do the last terms here, which is going to leave us with a negative 5i times negative 5i, which will leave us with a positive 25i squared. Remember, i squared i squared represents negative 1, so negative 1 times 25 is a negative 25. Now, we can add these two up because they're like terms. So we have negative 10i plus negative 10i is a negative 20i. So, and then 4 plus negative, 21, negative 25 is a negative 21 uh, minus 20i. And we make sure we write it in standard form. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you multiply your two complex numbers. Thanks.